Good morning again, and thank you, Dr. McDaniel, for all of the data that you presented and the information. It, it truly is uh, an honor and a privilege to be working with you um, as a partner uh, while we pursue uh, trying to make oral health care a priority in the entire state. It is great to see new faces and finally to meet so many of you in person. I'm used to seeing you on computer screens. Um, I have reconnected with many colleagues here and uh, that I haven't seen in some time and with some students that I had the pleasure of teaching in, in the past. So thank you, PCOH, Helen, and the entire team for this opportunity and this amazing event. I started my role at DHS this past February after almost 20 years of practicing clinical dentistry and 10 years of teaching. I never thought I would enjoy it as much as I do because it is so different from what I was used to doing all my professional life. And while the work is challenging at times, as many of you know, the dedication and resolve of the people I work with at DHS and in the larger stakeholder community make it truly rewarding. To know that my efforts at the Office of Medical Assistance Programs and other program offices in our agency will have an impact on the life of those who are most vulnerable is remarkable and humbling at the same time. My goal is to do the best that I can to improve the oral health care of the citizens of our program while keeping in mind the challenges that providers and other stakeholders face when partnering with us to accomplish that goal. I joined DHS at a time when oral health care has a lot of support, so I'm very fortunate. As you heard in her speech, Secretary Arkush truly recognizes the impact that good oral health will have on overall health. Deputy Secretary Kozak, who also has a background in medicine, continually states her commitment to the fact that dental care is crucial to good overall health outcomes. With their leadership and guidance, I have no doubt that we will continue to prioritize the improvement of the dental program. And of course, many of you know Dr. David Kelly, uh, our chief medical officer, who relentlessly continues to champion oral health care at DHS and among the medical community. It is truly an honor to be working with him. And he is here today, and he will, you will hear from him. So everyone's efforts um, at the department have produced a series of additions specific to dental care, and I would like to highlight some of those for you today. And, and, and Secretary Arkush touched on some of these yesterday and uh, stole a little bit of my thunder, but I will reiterate. <laughs> um, so for example, we allow five billable codes through teledentistry aimed at addressing emergency needs and preventive care for those who cannot see a dental provider in person. We added code D4346, uh, which bridges that gap between a PROFI and SRP, and this code does not require a BLE. We recently added code D4342, commonly known as limited SRP, right, um, which covers one to three teeth in, in a quadrant. We have also standardized allowances for D1110, D1120, D4346 to one in 180 days, and D4910 to one in 90 days without any combination restrictions. So before there were some combination restrictions that those codes had, I think no more than three combinations in a year. But essentially now, I think that's important because you can do uh, twice a year D4346, right? And twice a year D1110, uh, PROFI. So an individual who has that moderate to severe inflammation whenever they present can get that code done before they go on to have the PROFI code, maybe in a few weeks or, or a month or so later. Yesterday you heard Dr. Arkush talk about the addition of street medicine and the recent inclusion of dentists as providers for that place of service. Um, so we allow seven dental codes through street medicine, which is remarkable, I think, because that 
offers service to those who are unhoused and for the first time allows providers out in the field uh, treating uh, these citizens to be uh, reimbursed. Uh, specifically, the codes are D0140, D0145, D1206, D1310, 1320, 1321, and 1330. And I call those 13 <laughs> codes the, the lucky 13s, right? Because as many of you know, those codes are not reimbursed through a lot of the commercial insurances. And I think it's something we should be very mindful of, that the MA program allows those codes uh, to be reimbursed. So again, these are some examples of how we look to improve oral health care among the most vulnerable while moving towards more equitable dental care for recipients. At this time, I would like to invite a great mentor and esteemed colleague, Dr. David Kelly, Chief Medical Officer of DHS, to deliver some remarks. Thank you, everyone.